Here's the number one thing I think people struggle with when trying to create a photo series. And I think that's simply overthinking it. I think we sit around and think about photo series that would work or photo series that would be a good idea rather than photo series we should actually be making. And what I mean by that is uh, the other day I watched uh, an episode of the Collins and Samir podcast where they they quoted somebody, I forgot who they quoted, but they said to make what comes out of you like water, which is basically saying, make what is natural to you. Make what just you naturally make already. And I think that's the best advice anyone could have for making a photo series. And listen, maybe what you like and what you make doesn't appeal to everyone, but it probably appeals to somebody. No one's original, no one's truly original. But people, when they buy prints or invest in an artist in any way, they, they're investing in your perspective. They wanna know your perspective, not just a pretty nice photo series that they've seen before. Yikes, that didn't sound good. Listen to this. Man, it's getting weaker and weaker. My favorite point and shoot film camera is dying. Fresh batteries, everything, but the motor just doesn't want to run. In fact, yesterday I shot photos with it and uh, when it was rewinding, it stopped rewinding and then started for going forward again. So no telling, this double exposure, uh, accidental double exposure thing is not lined up. There's no way. In 2014, I did a series of double exposures, my first ever series of double exposures about place. I had moved from Hawaii to Tennessee and I was kind of talking about that through the project. I used my friends to kind of frame the location and they're kind of generic-y heads uh, with stuff in them, kind of double exposures, but it was my first time interested in that. And then if you fast forward years in my work, there's more stuff kind of like that that's a little more polished and advanced where I was using double exposures in different ways. Then fast forward to now, that which is about you know 10 years later, and I'm still doing, I'm still playing with those techniques and trying to expand on telling my story through double exposures. I've never, not since my college senior project, have I made a series that's fully double exposure telling my story again and using double exposures. And I've always had this idea for years and years where I could, I wanted to always take one exposure in a, one place and a second exposure in a totally different place. So in April, I used this camera and for the first time, I, I made an attempt at this and I shot photos in these woods on one roll of film with this camera, just shot the whole roll and then flew to New York City and shot over the same roll with this camera. And I think they turned out fantastic. They're black and white. There was kind of an elegance to them. There, it was because it was black and white, you weren't distracted by a lot of the color. It was just like shapes and trees mixed with skyscrapers. And it was a really cool juxtaposition. Well, then, you know, a couple weeks ago, I went to Chattanooga and decided to try the same thing again on, with this camera, on Lomo purple film. And uh, needless to say, that didn't quite work the same. Okay, moment of truth time. 